What's up everybody? Welcome to John's Daily Hustle. So today we're going to talk about my lawn care business goals for 2021. For any of you guys that are new, I started my business last year in 2020 for the first time and I was just a solo lawn care. I did it part time on the side and had a full time job during the day until business grew too fast. Then I eventually ended up quitting my day job and I went full time lawn care. After gaining all the experience that I did in my first year in business, I made lots of mistakes. Last year was a good year for my business, but it wasn't a perfect year. Really the only goal I had for 2020 for my business was just to be able to go full time and stay afloat and not fail my business, right? So at the end of the year, I decided to restructure my business, which I really encourage you guys to go watch that video when this video is done. If you haven't seen it already, just to see what exactly I mean by restructure. Going into this year, let's talk about my goals now that I have that I want to hit this year. Obviously, the main one is to stay afloat. Now, last year, I had about 30 customers I started with and the pandemic hit, and then I lost about half of them anyways. I eventually gained more back, and by the end of the year, I ended with just shy of 30. I think I had like 27, 28 customers that I serviced last year by the end of the year. Of course, I dropped just about all of them except for four customers going into this year as I restructured, just because they weren't my ideal customer. Now, I guess you could say my second goal is to get higher end customers for this year. Or I should say more valuable customers for this year. I want the customers that are willing to pay money and want their yard looking good. Last year, I just had too many of the cheap customers that just wanted their yard scalped pretty much. This year, I want the customers that actually appreciate my work and appreciate a nice looking lawn. So far right now, I want to stay afloat and I want to gain more valuable customers. Next goal is I would really like to get around 30 yards, 30 customers total for this year, or more of course. I started off the year already with four because like I said, I dropped everybody. I am right now just at 10. Picked up six more customers just as this year has started and the season isn't even going yet. As well as we're just breaking into marketing March now. So now I'm really gonna be ramping it up and we'll see where I get. It's like I said, by the end of the year, I'm hoping to have 30 customers or more with 40 customers being my max. And here's why I only want 40 max. Because with 40 customers, I can do 10 yards a day for four days straight and only work four days. I have a fifth day to catch up on maintenance or to go give bids or a rainy day. And those numbers are worst case scenario because not every yard is gonna take me an hour to do. So that's a pretty good day. You know, it'd be no more than 10 hours of worth of work for a day. So no longer than a 10 hour day and only work four days a week. Like I said, in reality, it's gonna be a lot less than 40 hours a week, which is really good to me in my opinion. Just as a disclaimer, cause some of you guys are probably like, oh, how's he even, how's he even surviving with that low of numbers or with that little many customers? Well, everybody's setup is different. Everybody's numbers are different. And I have almost no overhead. As well as like I said, I'm looking for those higher end clients that are willing to pay more. I might cut less properties than you, but I could potentially make more money than you per customer anyway. So the next thing is to really try to figure out what is my ideal setup? What's really gonna work for me? You guys may have already seen my current 2021 lawn care setup. If you haven't, go check that video out there. If you have seen it, then you already know I am in the market for potentially a new mower in the future. Definitely a small one and potentially another main mower as this is a 60 inch and it's really big. I'm gonna do a dozen different demos this year, as many demos as I can, just to find what mower do I really like? What mower do I really wanna run as my main mower for your average yards and keep this as my big main mower? But I'll break into the nitty gritty stuff of all the equipment that I'm trying to get this year in a later video. But right now, that's just my goals is to figure out what do I really want to run? What efficient setup is really going to work best for me and my business? And lastly, my two goals for this year kind of go hand in hand together. So I'm going to kind of say them back to back. One goal is to crack down on the mowing and really know my numbers and really get that crunched down and get really good at it. Everything from bidding properly to just mowing every property efficiently and just everything I could possibly do on the mowing side, I want to be the best at it. But then if I can do that, I do plan on venturing into a few other services this year. One of them being irrigation and the other being Christmas lights. I already have a few customers asking about the irrigation, so I really think I'm going to benefit from getting into that a little bit this year and adding that service in and possibly picking up even more clients, especially when it comes to hiring clients that want their yards looking good. If they have irrigation, they're probably willing to pay the extra money to keep their yard looking good so it'll be easier to upsell them like aeration dethatch and stuff like that and moving on to the christmas lights you guys know i really don't want to get up on roof but i already have most of the equipment i need from all the gutter cleaning and stuff i do so hey if i'm already up there why not put up christmas lights too you know what i mean so i've already been talking to a couple guys you guys know who you are on youtube i appreciate all the feedback and info you've put out there as well as i've been talking to a couple guys here in my area which i appreciate you guys too that have helped me out here and give me a little bit of information just to get into the market here. I said I wasn't gonna do Christmas lights, but I really think I am after this last year. I seen what my competition does, I seen what they put up, and I know what they're charging for it. 
I personally think I could do a better job, but I guess we'll see in just a few months from now, won't we? As of right now, those are all my goals for this year going into 2021 lawn care business. They could potentially change or be altered in some way as the business goes or as the year goes on. But that's just a part of life, right? But I'll make sure I update you guys and let you guys know what's going on. At the end of the new year, I'll update you guys and we'll see if I really even hit any of my goals this year. So I'm excited to bring you guys along the way and show you guys all my progression as I'm starting to venture into other things. So comment below in the comments if we're sharing any of the same goals for this year or if you have completely different goals, I wanna know about it. Comment below, make sure to give that video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe so you can keep up with my goals and watch my progression as we go. As always guys, thanks for watching.